So what is going on everybody? My name is Meho and welcome to your 12th ReactJS tutorial in which what we are going to do is uh, we're going to take out that li part from hard coded to somewhat a semi hard coded thing. We are not going to exactly create the app perfectly right now in this tutorial but we're just going to make use of some sort of good stuff so that it just at least looks like it's not hard coded right like that. Okay, anyways, so we'll just get rid of these right there. And what we are going to do is move to our very first script.js. And right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array of task list, tasks list. And uh, we're going to say some random tasks, task one and task two. So this array would be our array to manage the tasks actually which would be displayed on the screen so we'll just pass it in our to do app with the uh, tasks equals task list like that okay so now our main.js has some props right there and you can just use them and send them in constructor if you want but it's not really necessary unless you want to make use of this dot props here Otherwise, it's just useless to do. So you can just get rid of that anyhow, right? So, okay, so we have task list here. So what I want to do is actually I want to pass this task list again to, to the to do app list because we do not have anything to do right here. So we can again pass this down by saying tasks is this dot props dot what we are getting here tasks right so we have got something from the parent and we didn't touch it didn't see it just passed it down to to do app list and inside our app list what we are gonna do is uh, i'm gonna say var items equals this dot props dot um, tasks right so now we have this uh, array of tasks right there so what essentially we are looking for is to create an li out of them each out of them so we can just make use of map here dot map and an es6 call there and uh, we can say return something like li and uh, we can say actually we can just take use of element there and element ally something like that right and then finally inside our return we can make use of this items so that we just populate the ul with all these allies right okay looks good let's just see how it looks on the browser Okay, so it says me a warning that each child in an array or key iterator should have a unique key property. Now, this happens because uh, if we said that, then React would have a good time in figuring out, uh, you know, or actually if we don't set that, then React would have a hard time in figuring out which element was updated so it kind of would be a little expensive on the DOM so we can say li key is uh, element and i which is the index of that particular element inside map and if you're not familiar with this then you might have to see some ES6 videos of mine I guess I have explained that there so li key is i and we'll just be good to go you can see that the warning is gone and again the task 1 and task 2 are sort of semi hard coded now. They are still hard coded inside our script.js if we add another task like task 3. But at least they are not directly coded into the code right now. So that's all for this video. And in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to make this completely from here only from the input field. And we'll see how we can add some tasks to our to do app so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick